were also sentenced to one year in the state jail for two counts of manufacturing and delivering the controlled okay. substance. So, I'm those are meal with time. I mean, right, how many times I so those are three felony convictions there. I'm sorry, I thought you meant how many times I went to the pain. Then I, then I, uh, no, yeah, I, no, that's everybody knows what I asked, and I asked how many convictions you had. I bet how many. I didn't say how many times did you go to prison. Okay, well, there's a big difference in those words: six, seven, eight, so, nine, yes. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen prior misdemeanor convictions of courts of law. So what's that? Nineteen plus you have 12, 17, 24, 44. Class C misdemeanors of gambling, open alcohol container, traffic-related offenses, failures to appear, public intoxications, contempts of court, protection order violations, and failure to identify. So uh, when I ask you if you have any prior convictions, uh, I believe your answer was one. You uh, actually have sixty-three. You your addition was just a little off. Yes, sir. Uh, that's Get ready for some good old-fashioned Texas justice in the court of the Honorable Judge John Stevens. As today we confront a case that truly tests the boundaries of honesty and Judge Stevens' patience. I mean, really. This obnoxious defendant stands before the judge facing the weight of a staggering 63 convictions. Yet, in a bold attempt to manipulate the truth, he brazenly claims to have only one conviction to his name. But Judge Stevens is no dummy, and sees through the facade. With easy access to this convict's extensive criminal records, he wastes no time getting down to the truth and the business at hand. So as this defendant prepares his long-awaited sentencing for his laundry list of crimes, he must have some butterflies fluttering through his stomach. Will Judge Stevens show leniency to an unremorseful convict like this guy? Or will he deliver a swift and decisively harsh judgment? And actually hold this career criminal accountable for his immense history of past transgressions? Yes. We now call 23CR1380, Calvin R. Johnson. That's you? Yes, sir. It looks like a third degree felony, but. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm marked on here. I can always do it. That's a prior felony. Because it starts out as a state jail felony. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, state jail felony. He's got to plead to one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Okay. 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 The yes, whole sir. indictment is what yes, he pleaded to. Yes, sir. Okay. Just uh, and I believe for, he's already done that. To, to re but, uh, yes, sir. Mr. Johnson is here with his attorney, Mr. Grover, the state's attorney. Uh, earlier, you pleaded guilty to this indictment, Mr. Johnson. You remember doing that? Yes, sir. Okay. So we're just going to go briefly over it. Paragraph one of the indictment alleges that you committed theft. Paragraph two goes on to state, though, that you... Uh, have two or more prior theft convictions out of county court at law. So paragraphs one and two constitute a state jail felony, even if you steal a pack of gum yes, because of prior convictions. Yes, so you pleaded guilty to that, those prior convictions in paragraph two uh, in 2022 and 2023 out of mm -hmm. county court at law two of Jefferson County, Texas. Are you pleading true to those allegations of prior thefts voluntarily and because those allegations are true and correct as they are alleged? Yes, sir. And are you pleading guilty to paragraph one stating that uh, on or about April 29, 2023 in Jefferson County, Texas, you committed theft? 
Yes, sir. So thus, paragraphs, paragraphs one and two constitute a state jail felony. But paragraphs three and four alleged in 2004, you were convicted twice of delivery of a controlled substance in this criminal district court in two different cases. Are those allegations as set forth in paragraphs three and four true and correct as they are alleged? Yes, sir. And are you pleading true and correct today uh, voluntarily, knowingly, intelligently, and because all of that is true? Yes, sir. And the agreement was set forth that whatever sentence shall not exceed a cap of five years in prison. Do you, is that your understanding of the agreement? You're going to be asking for probation here. And uh, a slap, a slap on, on the wrist. wrist. Um, but paragraphs one, two, three, and four constitute a state jail felony punished as though it were a third degree felony thus you were looking at the term of not more than 10 years or less than two years in prison up to ten thousand dollars in fine which is by agreement capped at five years in prison so you're really looking at no less than two no more than five years in prison plus probation could be assessed is that your understanding yes, all right and that was what you agreed to. And uh, whatever I do, as long as I follow this agreement, you have no right of appeal. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Grove. Uh, basically, Judge, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Johnson has had some, some recent problems. A lot of these were due to the fact that he was a trans, didn't have a place to study. Uh, we believe he is taking care of that problem. How'd you do that? How are you? I got somewhere to stay. My mama house now. She she put me on a little lease. You know. How long has he been in custody, please? I believe June twenty twenty three. She's gone. I ain't had no case. I got no trouble or nothing. Well, oh. Certainly don't when you're in custody. You get in trouble. Yeah, but. It doesn't happen often, does it? Because it compounds the problem. Yes, sir. An agreement has been reached again that whatever sentence shall not exceed a cap of five years in prison. A pre-sentence report has been prepared by the probation office of the parties had an opportunity to review it. Any corrections or changes to it? None from the state, Your Honor. Yeah, I reviewed it uh, with Mr. Johnson, and we have no changes to make to the uh, It's made a part of the record for all purposes. What was stolen here on this occasion? It was some food items from Kroger. They were actually, uh, he was caught going outside, so they were recovered. Uh, but it was some food. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Judge, but during this, ahead. this time period, he did have a, a number of criminal trespasses because he did not have a place to stay. He believes that that has been taken care of. Yes, He'll be able to live with his uh, um, with his mother. He also has uh, has three children, 8, 12, and 14, I believe, that will be able to, uh, to uh, support them. Uh, How can you do that? I'll get a job. I work at Green. I was working at Green Man. He had the owner of Volkswagen. He, he let me work for him. Harry Smiley. And I worked for a church. Yeah, bitch, Mr. Morris Jenkins. I cut trees. I do other stuff, too. And they'll keep my own children, too. I won't do that again no more, you know. How many prior uh, convictions do you have? Sir, how many convictions do you have? Just one. It was in two thousand four, but since then I ain't getting no trouble. That would be incorrect, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You said no. Where everybody knows everybody that knows that would be incorrect because I'm looking at your pre-sentence report here, which shows. 
believe he's got a 2002 uh, arrest, Six. 2003 for I see. felony. I see three felony convictions, uh, eight years in prison for burglary of a habitation. You were put, placed on probation. That was revoked. Then you were sentenced to eight years in prison. And also on the day that you were revoked on your probation and sentenced, you were also sentenced to one year in the state jail for two counts of manufacturing and delivering the controlled substance. So I'm those are with time. I mean, right, how many times on so the those are three felony convictions there. Okay, I'm sorry, I thought you meant how many times I went to the pain. Then I, then I, uh, no, yeah, I, no, that's everybody knows what I asked, and I asked how many convictions you had. I bet how many. I didn't say how many times did you go to okay, prison. Well, there's a big difference in those words. So you also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen prior misdemeanor convictions of courts of record. So what's that? It's nineteen. Plus, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 17, 24, 44 Class C misdemeanors of gambling, open alcohol container, traffic-related offenses, failures to appear, public intoxications, contempts of court, protection order violations, and failure to identify. So uh, when I ask you if you have any prior convictions, uh, I believe your answer was one. You uh, actually have 63. You Your addition was just a little off. Yes, sir. Uh, that's what's good about having these pre-sentence reports, I guess. All right. Uh, now we know what we're looking at here. Go ahead, David. Uh, basically, Judge, uh, uh, Mr. Johnson can't deny his criminal history. Again, I would point out that in from 2021 to, well, really till 2023, uh, his... Uh, Besides this one, the the, the one uh, uh, theft that we're talking about here, he's he's had some uh, criminal trespass and some other minor charges. Minor being that they were uh, gambling and things of that nature. Uh, basically, though, uh, Mr. Johnson believes that he has been able to will be able to clean up his. Uh, his criminal history. How, 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 can you, five, how can you clean up the criminal history? Well, not clean up the criminal history, not repeat. Oh, oh, oh. Not repeat. Okay. I, that's that, that's that 63 was convictions. That's a lot of cleaning up. Yes, that would sir. be impossible anyway, of yes, course. Sir. I, I misspoke. He's, uh, but he's I, taken a change of his behavior. Yes, sir. So he says. Yes, okay. sir. And uh, he would would be able to uh, hey. uh, follow yeah. along with whatever yeah. the orders the court That's gives the him to do. Um, and he realizes this is the last time there has been any, there's not going to be any other any other one any other any other uh, arrests. Uh, if, if the court gives him one last chance, he also would like to address the court at the appropriate. Okay, time. go ahead. First of all, I apologize for what I did, though. And if I could take time back instead of going to take this stuff out of the store, I would take an application to get a job to buy this stuff, you know? And I, I don't, I live and learn. I don't go backwards. And if I get probation, my kids will help me too, because they help for me to take care of and put up them, and I'm not taking care of them being here. No. no. And, I, and I'm better than that. I really am. We can't take care of them when you're been convicted no, 63 sir. times no, you're sir. too busy in prison yes, and sir. well but your oldest child is how old? 13. well you've had that child while well, you've been you've been committing crimes while you've had that yeah, child I, uh, no don't blend, so don't no, I'm don't no hide school. behind your children now you're, the 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 day you find out you're going to have a child yes sir you you should commit yourself to being a role model, yes, sir. but 
You you hadn't been a role model. Oh, so. Oh, so. But, so I want to hear about the children because that's not fair to them. Yes, uh, because you, you, your child, you, you're trying to hide behind your child, now, and that's not right. You, you're standing up on your own. You, your child has been around for 13 years, and here you are again. But I, it's not helping. That child's existence isn't helping you be a better person like children are supposed to be. Yes, sir. They need a father yes, who's not acting as a role model. Yes, sir. You And foremost, you are a role model. They're gonna, children are going to pretty much emulate their parents. How are you doing on that? I'm doing good. Like, you got 63 convictions. I, besides this, I take care of my kids. I teach. No, we don't, I, no you got it. Besides this? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. You, you can feed them and clothe them, but when you're committing crimes, yes, what are sir. they learning from you? Yes. Okay. It's this simple. Yes, sir. Oh. Uh, what are you asking for, Mr. Uh, your Honor, uh, somewhere close to the top end of the five years. Uh, Anything else from anybody? I think I understand where we are. Here, Here's what I'm going to find, and if nothing further, uh, I'm going to find you pleaded guilty voluntarily to paragraphs one, True to paragraph two, constituting a state jail felony. True to paragraphs three and four, prior uh, state jail felonies convictions, which enhance this to a uh, third degree felony punishment, state jail felony. So you you put yourself in a position when you go and steal a pack of gum and get caught, you're looking at up to 10 years in prison because of your colorful criminal past. You have pleaded guilty and true voluntarily, knowingly, intelligently. There's sufficient evidence supporting your plea from States Exhibit 1 admitted at your plea hearing to find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt of this state jail felony punished as a third degree felony. I so find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. I am following this agreement and you are found guilty of the state jail felony punished as under third degree felony punishment for prior convictions. You were hereby sentenced to confinement in the institutional division of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice to serve a term of two years. You will be given credit 297 days. You can do the math. You'll see. Uh, you'll probably be released pretty quickly here. But the problem is, is that you're going to be released and you have a prolific criminal record. You need to turn that around. Yes, son. But you've had children for 13 years. They have a, that, that hasn't prompted you to do the right thing. I hope your word, it, you're committed to your word because these are all choices that you have made in spite of the fact you have children at home, knowing that pack of gum puts you in prison up to 10 years. Those are your choices. And you're not just hurting yourself, are you? You've got children who rely on you. You're hurting them. How does that make you feel? Hey. I would feel terrible, but it's not preventing you from continuing to make bad choices. The problem is you know what the right choices are. Make them. That is all. Oh. Thank you. Two years. He gets corrected. All comments, viewpoints, interpretations, and insights expressed in this video are for education and entertainment purposes. All individuals featured in the video are to be presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Please do not attempt to contact, locate, or engage with any individuals featured in the video.